Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, and welcome to the video for what is the Vizlog box shape node. So I'm going to go ahead and run through my little example here. It's my guy running around. Turn on my Vizlog recording. And I'm going to go ahead and push my two key a couple times. Push one there. Push one here. We're going to jump and push one here. Okay. We're done. We'll stop logging and stop this. We'll click on our Vizlog and we'll scrub through this. And you'll notice boxes show up. That's it. It's really that simple. Let's look at the node itself and how it is set up. So this is our Vizlog box shape node takes in a box shape. So a box shape is a structure that determines the minimum and the maximum size. So it's pretty much going to be your bottom left to your top right for the box itself. In this case, I am grabbing my character's capsule component, figuring out his bounds, and then doing a little bit of math to turn that into a box. And that's why when we looked at it, that's basically the box of the character. Looking at the note again, we have some text. This is any text we want to put at that point in time on the box shape. The color of the box, in this case, I just chose a pink. Any category we want for that box. In this case, log box shape. I gave it its own category, so that way we can make it easy to sort out if I want to turn them on or off. Then we have extra stuff under here. We have a world context object. That's going to be basically the item that owns this. You can leave it alone. And then the add to message log option. So if this text is in here and we have add to message log checked it's going to add to our message log side of our output log our console this information here at this point in time in our visual logger and that's it that is our viz log box shape it creates a box of whatever color you want and text in your visual logger at the appropriate time so you can use it for debug purposing as you saw there i used it to visualize the components of my character so maybe I could see if collision was causing an issue, or I could see if maybe bullets were missing it, or I could make sure it's the right size while it's going through items as it's running through a level. 